Hello guys. So today, I am not playing on the Streamplan server. Let's see if we can do something about that. So I've got a lovely area to build in. But it happened that there are loads of these horrible dead shrubs everywhere. So I might need to get rid of those. Uh, I think I might have overdone it a bit. Do do da do dee do dee do dee do dee dee No worries guys. I found a new place to build. And it's just across the valley from a beautiful waterfall. Okay, what well, I've been thinking. If I want to win this contest, I've not just got to build a house. I've got to put myself into that house. It's got to be personal. I've got a great idea. You know, I've always found something attractively monotonous about Minecraft. If only I could find monotony attractive. Oh. I just realized that in the excitement of the whole thing, I kind of forgot to introduce myself. So, hi. My name's Neil, but those are my real names on the internet, right? So my Minecraft guy is called Dr. Jamie, which obviously isn't anything like my real name. And I'm not a doctor, but a uh, J on my chest right there. Just to confuse people into thinking my name actually is Jamie. Look at the cliff. Now look at my arms. The cliff is now my arms. I don't know what I was thinking when I started building this, but I'm gonna continue. Starting by fixing the top of this, which has gone horrifically wrong. Okay, it's fixed. So, I realized that as I spent 26 minutes and 37 seconds building these things, yeah, it really did take that long, I kind of realized that I have about 30 seconds of usable footage from the building process. Which isn't good, of course. So as I build the rest of this monstrosity, I think I'm probably going to keep you with me and talk about things and stuff. Um, maybe I want myself, that might help. Ooh, I've never actually explored one of these Mesa Biomes cave systems. That might be kind of interesting, maybe I'll do that if I finish early. Anyway, yeah, me. So, as I say, I'm Dr. Jamie. Um, my YouTube channel is Capital Marsh, but my real name is Neil. Are you keeping up? <laughs> and yeah, about me. I write novels sometimes. Um, I also play video games. And at the moment, I'm studying to go get into a university uh, where I will be studying writing stories for video games. So that works out quite well. So I do have a plan for this thing, um, and I have a feeling it's gonna turn out to be the scariest thing you've ever seen. Oh no, this thing's already made of white stained clay. That's problematic. I'm gonna have to fix that. So, as I'm going to be building, I thought I might try my hand at multitasking and simultaneously tell you an amusing anecdote. Now I've got this one ready. So let me let me set the, the scene here. It was many, many years ago, by which I mean last weekend, of course. And there I was in a hotel. This hotel was not unusual, like any hotel you might imagine. Actually, I'm going to leave this thing open. It's going to be a uh, tunnel, I've decided. Spontaneous decision. This hotel was very nice, actually. Very posh. But nothing remarkable about it. And now I fancy myself. Uh, that was it, actually. I just find myself horrendously attractive. No, joking. I fancy myself as a bit of a detective. By man of mystery. And so, I was given my key to the hotel room. I unlocked the door and I slipped into the room for the very first time. My room, mind you. And I thought I would feel very good about myself if I pretended to search it. As if I was a spy going through someone else's room. So, there I was. I searched the cupboards, 
I even searched the little ensuite bathroom. And then, just as I was going through all the dwarves, the empty dwarves, mind you, because no one lives here yet, um, someone arrives at the door. And they're looking at me like, what the hell are you doing? And, uh, that was kind of awkward for me. What I did, and this is a stroke of genius. Sorry about that. I think I just cut the video because I sn So if there is an edit there, that is why. So anyway, as I was saying, that just interrupted the great story. Some at the door. They're seeing me searching my own room, which is a bit weird. Um, and I still don't have an excuse for that. But I am just a bit weird, which is why I was doing it. And so then what happens is... I discarded my mobile phone on the floor minutes previously, um, as I came into the room. And when I became aware of this person watching me, uh, clearly thinking that I'm the weirdest person in the world, I turned to my mobile phone, picked it up and go, Ah, there it is! As if that was what I'd been searching for all along. And that is the genius of me. And I'm noticing that as I tell this story, I took four minutes to build two walls. So, yeah. I'm not very good at this multitasking malarkey, am I? Anyway, uh, this thing's gonna be my face. I thought if I have my arms here, then my face is gonna be here, and uh, maybe we can walk in through my mouth. And, um, it might be like one of those circus things where you throw the claw ball through the clown's mouth, um, only actually get eaten by me. That'd be cool. And now, time for a mid-video rave. <laughs> In terms of slightly amusing anecdotes, I considered telling you about the time I sort of accidentally proposed to my best friend, Instead, I thought I'd tell you about the time. You know that Trollolo song? It goes a bit like. That goes quite a lot like that, and that's all there is to it, really. Anyway, there's a 10 hour version of that. There seems to be a fan of. a fad of 10 hour versions of things. Um, I don't really understand it. On YouTube, type in 10 hour, and you'll get results for a Cat and I don't know, all sorts. With the troll little 10 hour video I've actually watched in its entirety in uh, one sitting. Well, I say in one sitting, I did go uh, to the toilet a few times. But yeah, that is just what an interesting person I am. I spend my time doing such things as watching troll little. What does my hair look like? Not like that, okay. And yeah, I thought that was sort of maybe a little bit interesting. That line, of course, it's not interesting at all. That's just quite scary, actually, that I managed to do that. In fairness to myself, though, I wasn't watching Trollolo for 10 hours for fun. I did get uh, an MP3 player out of it. It was a bet. Consider it a bet. Although, nowadays, we don't have MP3 players. It's all got to be going with an eye. It's got to be cool, hasn't it? <sighs> I need to see the side of my head. Stop running away from me, guy. Almost got it. Almost got it. Almost got it. Almost got it. Damn you. I said it was going to be creepy. I did not have any idea just how creepy it was going to turn out. I can even make this scarier, I think. See, if we, if we, maybe we should sink the eyes in a bit. It's always a bit scary, even in Minecraft. So if we put a coal block behind the eyes, and then go back round and get off, rid of, I can't get through this gap, and then get rid of these, yeah, the sunken eyes. That kind of looks like it's either following you, actually. Oh, gah. I don't like that. I'm gonna keep it, though. And I'm gonna make the tongue inside the mouth as red wool and really disgusting, and make it dripping from the ceiling and things. 
Is that gonna burn everything? Hmm. Is that... Is everything gonna die? That's my main concern. Other than the fact that I can't get into my entrance. Shouldn't... Hmm. I just went the whole way around, didn't I? Never mind. But shouldn't that be dripping lava? Is that not something that happens? I thought that was a thing. Hang on, I'll check my particle settings. Ah, there we go. Erg. That is actually kind of nasty. Now, assuming this doesn't completely burn down, which we're hoping it won't, let's install that the whole way along. Or we could alternate between water. Maybe one corridor could have water, and one could have lava. That's perfect. This is going to be amazing. Oh, wait. No, no, we, we, we do want that. So then, if I just do this, it will presumably increase the chance of everything burning down tenfold, but... It looks like my mouth is dripping, which is really nice. Oh no! No, 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 no! This is not good! Something's burning, something's burning! Stop! No, stop it, please! No, 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 Stop! Stop, 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 stop! Oh dear. Oh, um, um... Uh, th that's not even how you saw a bucket. I haven't used to play Minecraft servers too much as I saw a bucket like that. This is, uh, uh, this is not good. Wh why am I trying to, why am I trying to bucket the fire? Okay. Okay. I think that's me picking up all the, wait, full box burn? Actually, that kind of makes sense. I had no idea. How much of this is made of? Made of wool. I am very concerned. It shouldn't reach the arms. The arms should be safe. The rest of it. Da wa 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 da da la da la na. I have a feeling that if I'm trying to sell my skills in this game, I'm not doing a very good job. Heh. Looks a bit like I'm crying. Okay, the apocalypse has been averted, and now I'm drooling in my mouth. That is actually kind of sickening. Haha. <laughs> uh, but I like it. Now I'm gonna join up the arms to the head. It's not gonna be a fool. Or should I just look as if I'm buried under the ground? I quite like that actually. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be buried underneath all the mesobiome. Under all the I just thought of another funny story I could tell. So there's this one time when I asked a girl out. Just kidding, I've never done that. Lord, 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 Lord. You know, I get the feeling I might be using too many jump cuts. Just kidding. There's no such thing as too many jump cuts. There we go then! I am successfully buried underground, and I look like a freaky horror show ride or something. Uh, so yeah, if this were the real thing, so to speak, and I was doing it properly, I would probably connect the head to the arms via a tunnel. Well, I kind of have done that, but what I mean to say is, I do it properly, and patching the walls and ceilings and floors all like this. But do you have any idea how long it takes to... Have you any idea how long it takes... Uh... Do a pattern like this? It takes forever, in case you didn't know. Um, I don't really have that long. Now... It happens. At the moment, both my hard drive and my will to live are dying rapidly, so uh, I think I might have to call it a day here. I've been recording for 
57 minutes, uh, and I'm not even sure if I have 5 minutes of usable footage. The criteria was 50 minutes, so... Damn. Anyway, thanks for watching. My name is Neil, um, and it still is. That hasn't changed. But I've been thinking about changing it to Mustafa. Um, tell me what you think. Anyway, I will see you in the next time? Question mark? It's horrific. It's horrendous! What have I done? I'll wake up tomorrow, and it'll all be gone. And they'll never know who did it. <laughs>